Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can log holding register data of our Mordbus TCP IP device into the SQLite database. Okay, so we have a Mordbus slave software as a Mordbus TCP IP device and we were simulating the holding register data and then we were logging the data into the SQLite database. Now in this video, we are going to see how to convert Mordbus TCP IP data to OPC UA data. Okay, so I'm going to use the same Mordbus slave software to create my Mordbus TCP IP device. And here also I'm going to simulate this for holding register. And this for holding register simulation will use have two visible on the OPC UA server. And we can also read those value in the OPC UA client. So that thing I want to do it. Okay, with the help of lab view. So if I change the value of this holding register, then it should be visible or it should publish the value to OPC UA server. And with the help of this OPC UA client, like a UA expert, we can read those values. So right now, if I, uh, you know, uh, change the value to five, then you can see it is not visible here for the HR zero. You can see for HR zero, the current value is zero because we haven't started our lab view project. So what our lab view project will do, our lab view project will connect with this Morbus device. Okay. It will also connect with this uh, process OPC US simulation server and it will read the value from Morbus slave device or Morbus TCP device and it will publish those values to this tags. Okay, I have created this Morbus data folder and I have created this four tag in which we are going to publish the data. If you want to create this kind of you know um, folder and tag, then you can go to objects. Here you can click on the plus icon to add folder or add variable. So I have added one folder here. You can see Modibus data folder and inside the folder I have created four tags. You can see the namespace and node ID of holding register zero, holding register one, two and three. Okay. So basically we are going to read the data from here and we are going to publish the data to process OPC UA simulation server and our UA expert software will connect with the process OPC UA simulation server and we can read those data in the UA expert. Okay. So I hope you got it that where to create this uh, folder and where to create this tag and in the address space you can see those things like uh, we have already simulation uh, folder uh, yeah you can see simulation folder we already have you can see constants has a value of 50 counter has a value of four five six it is increasing but we don't want that values okay we want to create modbus to opc ua converter so that is why we are going to use the lab view and this, that is what our agenda is so i am going to minimize this one and uh, yeah here is our lab view project so here I have to specify the IP address just a moment. Yeah. So here we have to specify the IP address port number of our Morbus TCP device. So if you go to if I disconnect it and if I connect it, then you can see IP address and the port number 10502 and IP address 127.0.0.1, which I have used here. Okay. And here you can see the ID is one. So that is why I have used Morbus device unit ID one timeout is 10,000 millisecond. And I have created four variable HR zero, one, two, and three in the process OPC US simulation server. So that is why I'm going to uh, read four register. Okay. Four holding register from the Morbus TCP device. If you want to convert more holding register to OPC UA, then you can increase the count. You can change the program to read multiple formats of data like coil, input register, holding register, input status, everything. Okay, it's up to you how you program it, but everything is possible with the lab view. Just you make it and then it will, you know, read the data from Morbus device and it will convert the data to OPC UA. And here we have to provide the OPC UA server endpoint URL. So here is my OPC UA server endpoint URL you can see here. So I can copy this endpoint URL from here and I can paste it here. And here you have to select OPC UA server security policy and the message mode. So message mode is none and the security policy I'm going to use is basic 256. And I don't have any username and password set for this process OPC UA simulation server. So I am not going to provide any password or username here. Okay, now we will make it a zero as of now. 
and we will start our lab view project okay now if i you know make it five again then you can see the value got changed in the opc ua client okay okay now i can you know auto increment the values like auto increment and if i press okay then you can see the value is changing at every second okay uh, you can also see the timestamp is also changing here okay if i uh, uh, auto increment the value of second holding register then also you can see the updates here and if i uh, change the value of third holding register to 99 then also you can see the update at what time uh, ye, just a moment at you can see the source timestamp and server timestamp okay the timestamp for this two uh, tag is updating because every second the value is updating for this two holding register so that is why hr0 and for hr1 source timestamp and server timestamp is updating but for hr3 we have only uh, provide an update one time so that is why you will see that updated time okay and for last holding register if i set it to auto increment then also you can see it is updating at every one second okay and you can see the source and server timestamp and here is the value so this is how you can convert your modbus tcp device data into the opc ua data okay so whatever data you will change here if i start again from the zero then you can see it will change to here so whatever data you have in your modbus tcp device or modbus tcp server or you can also use it for you know modbus serial device okay but we will see that in the future videos but this is for modbus tcp device so whatever data you have in your modbus tcp device you can convert that data or you can publish that data to any opc us server okay here i am using this uh, process opc us simulation server but you can use some other opc us simulation server as well or and you can have your own opc us server like uh, you if you are using siemens plc then you can set up your own opc us server you can set up your own opc us tag and you can publish modbus tcp device data to that opc us server or you can also create opc us server in the node grid also you can create opc us server in the lab view so all those things are possible so i hope this thing is clear so all you have to do is just run the project run the lab view project and it will read the data and it will publish the data to your opc ua server it can be your any opc ua server okay and it can be your any modbus data it can be holding register it can be input register it can be coil or it can be input status okay so everything is possible also you can provide you know uh, client certificate or server certificate in the lab view okay i have uh, i didn't include it in the demo uh, in this demo but you can have those things as well okay that are optional things but you can add those things so i hope everything is clear that how you can convert more of this tcp data to opc ua data using the lab view you can create your own opc ua server in the lab view but all those things we will see in the future videos okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you want to buy this project then the buying link will be in the description of this video also i'll provide the shopify website link you can also go to there and purchase from uh, our shopify store you can also ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere if you have any question concern or doubt about the purchase of product and if you have any question about the project as well okay so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video maybe we can see the data logging part or mm, let's see what we can see but uh, this is all about the video that how you convert your modbus data to opc ua data okay so basically it's a modbus to opc ua publisher you can uh, collect the data from modbus device and you can publish the data to any opc ua server so i hope this thing is clear so if you still have any question doubt or concern then you know where to ask so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you